Lars in Denmark writes, I'm looking forward to your answer. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to your question, young man. <laughs> um, it, here's my question. It's about measured frequency response versus perceived frequency response of loudspeakers. Okay. I would argue that a speaker with an uneven measured frequency response can be perceived as linear due to more dynamics at certain frequencies such as horns. After all, our hearing is particularly sensitive to dynamic differences. Do you think the current linear measurement methods adequately represents human hearing? Um, no, I don't. I think it is one of those areas that is completely overlooked, and I think you have a really good point here. So what Lars is saying is that if we take two loudspeakers, uh, in his example, a horn loudspeaker, which I'm not particularly fond of, but anyway, <laughs> here, here's this horn loudspeaker, and here's a dynamic loudspeaker, okay? And in a linear measurement where we just stick a microphone one meter away from the speaker and we do a frequency sweep and this one let's just say is flat within 2 dB and this one is flat within 2 dB. They should sound identical yet they do not. And his point is could it be that the horn which ostensibly has much greater ability to produce dynamic correctness so that when it gets loud it's not held back at all, where maybe a dyna dynamic speaker, certainly not this one, but some dynamic speaker is going to get slightly compressed. And would the ear be more sensitive to that compression than the actual frequency response as the volume goes up? And I think it's a great question. And it just, it just, just harkens back to measurements. Measurements are great. We we have to use them, we do use them, but they don't tell the whole story. The amount of distortion, the frequency response, gives us a picture of what's going on, but without knowing the global response, the, uh, the decay. Uh, I mean, we look at stuff like that. When Chris Brunhaber designs our speakers, he's looking at all sorts of things, how much energy is stored, how much is released, um, the dynamics, when, when you, you look at it, is there compression? Well, as you get louder and louder, yeah. Uh, you, you can only move a diaphragm so far, and then you start getting compression. So all of that matters. So in answer to your question, Lars, you're on to something here. No, I don't think that standard linear measurements really reflect what's going on at all. And that's just part of the whole puzzle and mystery. Thanks for the question. <laughs> Bye.